previous video, we went over CPA Masters, Academy, Bing, and Facebook PPC modules. In this video, it's going to be a little bit shorter. Uh, we're going to go over the email marketing and the pay-per-view module. So let's do email marketing first. Now, for those of you who are brand new, this may not be obvious, but anybody that's been doing this for you know, a little time, you'll know that there's a lot of money to be had with email marketing, and building a list is very, very important. But it's not just building a list, it's how you nurture that list, how you talk to and treat the people on that list that really, really counts. Now, there are a lot of people that are just churn and burn marketers, and they'll get as many leads as they can. They'll just try and sell, sell, sell. People will either buy or unsubscribe, and then they'll just get a bunch more on. And it's a hassle, it's a lot of hard work. But before you get to that stage, you need to understand how to use your autoresponder system effectively. So for, this is basically what this module is. It's a beginner's guide to Aweber. Um, why are the kind of theory behind lead capture pages, setting an Aweber up account, setting up an Aweber account, which is fairly simple stuff, setting up a list again. This stuff is kind of maybe a little bit weak because although it's well explained, you know, this, there's free stuff on YouTube for this particular stuff. Building a landing page, um, getting traffic with solo ads. Now, I personally hate solo ads, but there are a few resources, and of the three resources that they recommend, uh, I personally only, we only recommend one of them, and I'm going to talk about that um, inside of part of my bonus for this, this course. And then they've got this kind of bonus email marketing secrets thing. So a lot of this is how, how to set it up. So there's not really much information once you've got the list. I mean, you set up a list, you can drive traffic to it with solo ads or any other traffic source. But once they're on your list and you've got all these people pouring in, the only weak point I would say is there's not a lot of information on you know, how to treat them or what to do. So that is something that I'm going to be talking about in my bonus, but that's not for this video. The pay-per-view module is very, very well set out and very well taught. Um, personally, I don't do pay-per-view because A, I think the quality of the traffic is not very good. And it's a little bit technical and it involves a lot of testing. And it's quite expensive because to do pay-per-view, you need to be part of certain networks that run your ads. And those networks require buy-ins. Now, that can be anything from, you know, 50 to 100 bucks up to $2,000. Now, of course, $2,000 programs, um, Traffic Vance is the old name. I forget the new name. But that's where the good traffic is. But, of course, that's, two, that's a two grand buy-in. And, you know, if you spend two grand to join, you really, really want to make your money's worth. And it's very easy to lose money with pay-per-view. So, personally, I don't do it. I don't consider myself an expert on it. But I've been through some of these videos, and it is well explained. Um, so if you do have the money and you do want to maybe venture into pay-per-view, this module um, is for you. Personally, if I were you, I would focus on Bing and Facebook. Um, and if you decide to go the list building route, this would be an extra thing. This is not too hard to go through. These three are the big, big things for me. Pay-per-view is an option. People do make money with pay-per-view. A lot of money sometimes. It's just not for me. Um, we've gone quite quickly, so let's get these two out of the way as well. Um, native ads are very, 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 very big, very well, great, really. I mean, native ads are responsible for tons of traffic. I would definitely recommend this module more than pay-per-view if you do pick up CPA Masters Academy. Again, it's very well explained. I mean, these guys know what they're doing. They're professionals. They're experts. You can see the way it's taught and presented. They're very clear the way they speak. They're very clear the way they show you. And it's over the shoulder. Like I said before, there's no fluff involved. Very, very high-quality product. Um, but again, there's extra expensive with native ads. I mean, they ha the spy tool they recommend is 99 bucks a month. Um, but again, it's a business. I mean, if you've not got the money um, to you know, invest in your business or your education or your knowledge, then that CPA really isn't for you. A CPA is for people that are really serious about this game. But the one thing I do like is they take you through creating a white hat landing page. They go to a spy tool. They find a successful landing page and they show you how to basically create it very, very easily. They do use lead pages, um, but I mean, it's much easier than we call it ripping or scraping. What you can do is you can use websites like SiteSucker and you can scrape it and you can open up Dreamweaver and you know half of the website, half of your page is the original lander, the other half is your code, and then you kind of go back and forth and you change stuff around and then you upload it via FTP onto your site, and it can get very technical if you don't know that stuff, and I mean, I'm not the most technical guy in the world, and it's quite frustrating, you know, going back and forth and trying to understand the code, and you can pay people, of course, to do this stuff, but using something like lead pages or InstaBuilder just allows you to create very similar looking things very, very quickly, so again, this is a very, very good module, um, and they talk about Rev Content as well, which is a, a network where you can deliver native ads, so overall so far, native ads, thumbs up. 
pay-per-views, and well taught, but it's not for me. Email marketing, fairly basic but important. Facebook and Bing PPC, double thumbs up. Actually, native thumbs up, native ads gets a double thumbs up as well. Uh, Google Display Network, I would recommend doing once you're much more accustomed because although the quality of traffic is the highest, it's the most expensive one to do. So personally, again, very, very well taught. It's all in here. All the information you need is in here. That Again, there are spy tools and stuff. But I wouldn't start here. Okay? I would leave this till last. Become proficient with Bing PPC or Facebook PPC. Uh, perhaps try and build a list using Facebook and or Bing. And get some understand tracking, get money coming in, understand how you can scale campaigns. And once you've got the money coming in, you can afford it, then perhaps move on to native ads and or Google Display Network. Another great thing I like about this, um, this course is they have resources, so they have templates that you can download. One of the templates is a list of tokens. Now, tokens are things that you put into your tracking network. So if, you, if you're running an ad, if you've got CPV Labs or Volum, whatever tracking you use, and you want to use Bing ads, in order for it all to track correctly, you need to basically add what we call tokens. And some, if you're new, you, you're basically thinking, well, what the heck's a token? Um, a token is basically, for example, and each network's different, so it's a pain in the ass, but a token could be, for example, squiggly bracket, um, query, in squiggly bracket. And then what that does, if you do something like Bing, which is, or a Google Display Network, where people are actually typing search terms uh, into the search bar, what this will do, if it's set up correctly, is it will tell you what search term that person typed in, and then which ad of yours they were taken to, and if they click on it, um, where they go, and if they buy something, you know, how much money you made. And it's all recorded inside of your tracker. So you can go into your tracker and you can see that your campaign for this business opportunity, um, somebody typed in the word how to make money online on Bing, and they clicked on the second one. of You had two ads, and they clicked on ad number two, and they clicked on this link within the ad, and then they um, bought something for $10. So that basically, it's all recorded so that you know, okay, well, this keyword might be $10, and this keyword, I'm getting no traffic at all. So you can kind of delete that stuff. But it all needs to be set up correctly inside of your tracker, and it can be confusing. And Bing and Facebook and Google Display Network are all different. So this, um, the templates of tokens just basically allows you to copy and paste stuff in. It's really, really good, and um, it's, that is, yeah, that's worth, you know, like 90 bucks, 100 bucks. It's going to save you a ton of time and a ton of headache and a of money as well so overall this is one of the best for the price point it's probably the best but i mean the only other better cpa trainings i've ever seen are you know ten thousand dollar buy-ins or five thousand dollar buy-ins but for this price it's fantastic i did promote something a while back called cpa evolution and to be perfectly honest this absolutely kicks it out of the water um, if i'd have known in hindsight that this product was coming out i probably would have just left that and stuck with this because this is you know twice as good three times as good the other, I don't, the other one wasn't bad the other one was good but this is better uh, it's clearer and it's just you could these guys are just they know what they're doing basically it's all very very clear so that's basically my review of the product the first video was kind of the synopsis of how much it costs and um, the sales funnel and the OTOs and all that kind of stuff and 